feel like this is a really, really hard challenge. Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're back with another build challenge. We're going to be doing every room is a different type of movie or every room is a different type of movie genre. You guys have been suggesting this. I really like this idea, so we're gonna give it a go. If you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave any comments or suggestions you may have in the comment section down below. And let's get into this. So clearly this is the build that I've made already. Like I said, I am on a modern kick lately. I can't help it. I just love my modern builds. I don't know. As always, we are going to use our random wheel here to determine which room is going to have which movie genre. So we've got thriller, western, crime, action, comedy, drama, fantasy, horror, mystery, and romance. So these are gonna be the options. Let's go ahead and spin for the first room. I think I'm gonna start with the living room. So let's see what we get. Western, oh no. Okay, so this is kind of the layout that I've come up with. We're gonna have a living room over here. We're going to have this bathroom. This will be kitchen and dining room. I guess maybe another little like seating area. This is kind of just a garage. I don't know what I'm gonna put in there yet. Upstairs, we're going to have a master bedroom with a bathroom over there. And we're going to have another bedroom. I'm thinking about putting another bathroom up here I haven't decided yet. We shall see. Anyway, let's go start on our Western living room. So we literally have something called Wild West Wood from Get Famous. So I think I'm going to use this. I actually don't hate it. I kind of like the colors that are on it. I'm kind of thinking something like this for my flooring and wallpaper. We'll have like a big fireplace over here. When I think Western, I kind of think like cozy cottage style almost. So I think I'm going to kind of stick my fireplace like that. I need a big rug right down the middle. We're going to go leather. We're going to go like antlers if I can find some antlers or something so this is kind of what I'm going with so far I feel like I've got a lot of the same color happening so I'm gonna have to try and break this up with some plants or some decorations or something because it's a lot of brown <laughs> and I did change my flooring because I was not feeling that, that other stuff the strangerville bookshelf definitely has the vibe that we're kind of looking for that western vibe that they always have I do have my chandelier I'm gonna change the lighting in here I feel like that's gonna help quite a bit make it look a little more cozy I wish there was like a big comfy chair like like that those are supposed to be like dining room chairs but I wish outdoor retreat had like a big lounger for like the living room that looks with that plaid style okay so far so good this looks really really cozy and cute I quite like it there's just a lot of space that I'm trying to fill up which this is a bigger home I'm trying to get better at making not just tiny homes all the time <laughs> kind of thinking Western style has a little more of that like country decor so I'm putting the duck I think I'm gonna put the rooster I put those little log things over in the corner here I feel like that would make sense with the fire place being right there. I still have extra room so I think I might put a little desk over here. All right my little desk area is looking super super cute. I used an outdoor retreat like sign to put back there. I like how that looks. I still have all of this open room. Maybe I'll put another chair and like a little end table over here. I'm thinking about western movies with like the train so I think I might put some train decor over here on my little end table I guess. Maybe another like candle or lamp or something. I'm kind of searching through Get Famous to see if there's any like movie style props we should be putting in here just to kind of add to the like very western vibe I think we're good I think I'm gonna move on from here for a little bit maybe I'll come back just to kind of like build this space up a little bit but let's move on I want to do the kitchen which I think is gonna be like right here yeah, I'm gonna try and make kitchen and dining work in here, I guess. So I'm gonna spin for kitchen. We'll kind of try and like separate it off from the dining room. I feel like I messed up this layout a little bit, not gonna lie. I kind of wish I did my living room over here and then my kitchen and dining over there, but it's too late, it's too late now. Let's just go spin the wheel. Okay, let's spin the wheel for my kitchen. What are we gonna get? We gonna get comedy. <laughs> Oh, how am I gonna do this? Okay, this is tricky because for comedy, I think like bright colors. I think of like really happy decor, if that's even possible. And then over here, we've got like dark wood and Western style. So I, I do want to try and make this house kind of cohesive if I can. What if we maybe did something along these lines for my kitchen and then we use like yellow, very bright decorations. I think that's probably gonna be the best compromise. So obviously I'm gonna hit you with my yellow fridge, my favorite yellow fridge. And I need chairs with funky patterns, all of the color. We'll get the plum bob picture going over there. I'm also thinking about like this. I don't know why, but this is just hilarious to me. So. That 
back and go there. Actually, the llama one. Let's do the llama one. Oh my god, what? I don't think I've ever used that one. No, we're gonna use that guy. That's so cute. I think I'm gonna go like real colorful with my little rug thing there. This poor painting would get so ruined if my oven was actually there, but it's fine. It'll be okay. My sink there, I need a smoke detector. I'm pretty sure I've got all my basics here. And now we can decorate. Ooh, we can put a nice big colorful tree there. I can maybe put like a nice little wreath on my door. We can just put like a bunch of like just cute little things on here. Like that is so cute. They can be like the guards of the fruit bowl over there, little cuties. Okay, here, have a book on comedy. There we go. That makes sense. Maybe the person sitting there is reading that. Oh my god, yeah, the comedy sign. Oh, wait, okay. Of course, we'll put some little smiling plants on there. Okay, I think I'm gonna move on from the comedy room. It looks super cute, very, very colorful, and just a couple little jokester things happening in here. Let's move on. Let's do the dining room, I guess. Okay, spinning for the dining room. What are we gonna get? We get drama. <laughs> Ah, what am I gonna do for drama? So I think what I'm going to do is like a pretty steep transition from the white to black over here because I feel like in a drama, that's kind of what happens. You never know what's gonna happen and when it does happen, it's craziness, okay? So we're going to do a dining room table right down the center. Pretty big dining room, I must say. Very, like too big. <laughs> Look at the contrast. The consistency here has just gone out the window. It's just gone, gone forever. Change the flooring there. Let's find a rug for under my table. We could try and go with more of like a colorful rug to instill the drama. I wonder if I should try and go like the soap opera route, like the drama with a soap opera, because I don't know what it is about that picture, but that kind of reminds me of a, like a soap opera. I think it's supposed to be an advertisement, but I, I don't know. I'm kind of getting those vibes from that. Yeah, let's try it. We're gonna go very, very like soap opera style drama. We'll put some of these wine fridges in the corner maybe. I'll put some of that over there. I got my VIP bucket. I'm trying to do like just little pops of color here and there. So it's just like, bam, drama. Everything is fine. Everything is neutral, but then you've got some drama right in there. Just a little bit though. Ooh, this picture looks pretty dramatic to me. That looks like a drama movie poster or something. <laughs> Gonna add just a nice little ottoman or something over there. Okay, I think I might move on from my little dining room area here. This is my dramatic dining room. <laughs> I feel like this is a really, really hard challenge. Let's go upstairs, I guess. Oh, we still have a bathroom. I forgot about the bathroom and the garage. I don't really know what I'm gonna do for the garage yet. Let's go spin for the bathroom. Spinning the wheel for my bathroom. What are we gonna get? We get crime for the bathroom. Okay, so this is gonna sound weird. I literally just ran all the way down to the bottom of my apartment building to pick up this plant. Don't ask, um, but if you see it, now it's there. <laughs> I'm literally so out of breath. Oh, okay, bathroom, crime bathroom. Ooh, let's do it. So I'm again thinking I should probably go with a darker style for in here. So I'm gonna put my basics in here because I mean, how like crimey can I make my bathtub look? So when I get to the decorating process, I will show you what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay, so this is what I have for my basics here. I'm gonna have to try and see what I can find for crime. Ooh, this guy looks like he's solving some mystery with that hat. What else? do we have? I forgot about these movie posters. I should really be using these. Oh, that has a badge. Crime. Maybe we could use some of the like get to work stuff, like some of this. And I think Strangerville has some of the like military like crime stuff, crime fighting stuff. Ooh, maybe some files by the bathtub. Like maybe they're kind of like looking over some crime stuff in the bath. Maybe my little like bath mat can be like puzzle pieces. Like they're putting the crime together. <laughs> okay, Um. yeah, we're gonna leave this. The crime bathroom turned out a little bit better than I expected to be honest. Let's go upstairs. So up here, we've got the master bedroom, another bedroom over there. We've got the hallway and another bathroom. I'm also going to add to my wheel sci-fi because I didn't add that yet and I should have. I feel like I'm probably missing a million other ones too, but let's spin the wheel for the first bedroom. We're gonna get horror. Oh my god, I was really hoping we would get horror for a bedroom. Okay, let's go do it. I'm gonna make the master bedroom the, the horror bedroom. So obviously we're gonna go very, very dark with our decor in here. We're gonna go spooky stuff flooring probably. I kind of even want to do like brick in here and then we're going to delete these super bright lights and we're gonna put these spooky ones in here. I need to get a bed. I'm thinking we're just gonna have to go with the vampire bed like in this situation. We kind of have to, right? I think again I'm gonna get my basics and then we're gonna decorate with the spooky stuff because I can get like obviously spooky inspired 
tired furniture. It's not gonna contribute to the vibe without the decorations. I'm gonna get my spooky skeleton guys and they're probably gonna go like right in front of the bed because that is freaking terrifying. Imagine seeing that. Like, no, thank you. No, 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 thank you. Right at the end of your bed. Uh-uh. I'm gonna put knives in here. Um, because again, I feel like that is really freaking scary. Like, maybe over here it would, like, look like a dresser, but it's actually got, like, knives and weapons and stuff hiding in there. No, thank you. If I saw this in someone's bedroom, I'd be like, absolutely not. I'm out. I'm out. Get me out. I know we definitely have some good, like, horror movie posters. I think, like, most of them are kind of scary. Like, we definitely have this. And we've got like those which are really spooky. We've got tons of room in here So I think I might even put like a couch over here. I kind of put some pumpkins over there I know they're not really the scariest looking things, but I mean it is the season right now. It's festive Also gonna get maybe a little skull in there again, not the scariest thing, but I'm gonna work with what I got Okay, I think I'm gonna move on from my spooky bedroom I feel like it looks kind of scary, especially with the little knife corner over here This is definitely the spookiest to me Let's spin next for the bathroom, the master bedroom, bathroom. We get romance. Ooh, this is gonna look kind of good, I think. So obviously I'm gonna get a nice big bathtub, hopefully for two. We'll use that guy there. And then flower petals on the floor. We'll kind of go like that. Ooh, pretty. Candles are definitely gonna go on that thing. We'll have two robes in this one. We'll do maybe like that. And then we're definitely gonna put these nice little candles on the side of the tub. Ooh, I like the color. There we go. Super cute. I wish you could like put bath water in it with rose petals. I feel like that might look kind of cool. We'll put the rose right beside the bathtub there. And then what kind of romantic movie posters do we have, if any? Oh, this one. <laughs> it's literally called Simder. A little weird to have in your bathroom, not gonna lie, it's a little bit weird, but I mean, it is for a romance movie, right? We'll put the pictures with the roses over there. Okay, there we go. I think I might leave it. I don't wanna crowd this up too much, but definitely a romantic looking bathroom happening right there. Let's move on, do the next bedroom, then we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna put in here. Spinning the wheel for the next bedroom, what are we gonna get? We get sci-fi, yay. I was hoping we would get this. I meant to add this earlier, so I'm glad we still get to use it. So this is what I kind of got going for my bedroom so far. I'm going to put, I want to have like cool neon lighting in here possibly. Okay, we'll do a lava lamp right there next to my bed. I can tell this is going to be my favorite one. This is definitely going to be my favorite room. I'm going to put a bunch of little lamps in there. I've got my robot. Maybe I'll do some of the plum bob lamps. Like we could do these guys kind of stick with the lighting that's happening in here. Ooh, that looks really cool. I like that. We can put our little baby Yoda. He can have a little place in this one. I shrunk down our little space dude. He can also have a place in this one. <laughs> For my sci-fi pictures, I'm gonna put that there. That looks very sci-fi-y. I think there's a few. This one might be the easiest one so far. Like that can go over there, very space-like. I really wanted to put a desk with like a computer in here, but I don't think I'm gonna have the room. So maybe I'll kind of just put like a little rug over there and then what else can I put in here? I feel like it's looking pretty sci-fi-y. I love this. Ooh, I can use one of the Star Wars little helmets things. Oh, and this, hold on. Oh yeah, that is, this is definitely sci-fi now. 100% cute. Oh, I like it. Let's put some little droids. Oh, oh, and this guy, this guy's gotta make an appearance. Look how sci-fi that guy is. Okay, yeah, this is like how I want my gaming room to look. <laughs> Let's move on. We are gonna do the final hallway, I guess. I don't really know what I'm gonna put up here, honestly. Maybe another like living area. Maybe it'll be one of those things that depends on what we get. Okay, let's go back. Spinning for the final wheel. What are we gonna get? Fantasy. Okay, we're gonna do a fantasy like hallway skill item place, I guess. I'm kind of getting like Disney princess vibes from what I'm going with. So maybe we'll do like a princess fantasy kind of thing, like a fairy princess kind of thing. <laughs> I, um, This is probably my least favorite one so far. I think I'm actually gonna put the fireplace. I think I'm gonna do it. Gonna make some minor changes to the color palette. I feel like I've changed this around a hundred thousand times. There we go. This is much better. What can I find for fantasy like movie posters? Oh, maybe that. That kind of reminds me of like a fantasy poster, I feel like. That and my my rooster. Gotta put my rooster in there somewhere. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna maybe put a couple more details, maybe a little more plants in here. There we go, I think we're good. I think I'm gonna move on. We're done? I think we're done. Oh, the garage, what the heck am I gonna put in here? I'm gonna try and do like a mystery garage and I put this freaking thing in here just as like, oh, this van is gonna go 
solve the mystery with with its little satellite on there and that's gonna be our mystery garage okay <laughs> so this is the build let me know what you guys think about this video um this will be on the gallery under Cindy Macaretta let me know what your favorite one is let me know any build challenges you want to see me do in the future and yeah thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in my next video Thank you.